I did promise at the start of this thing to show you what uh, how to do the same kind of routing with um, video. So I'm going to make uh, an object, a new object with my N key, and call it router. And just like the matrix, um, you specify the number of inlets and outlets by the two arguments. So this will be a router with three inlets and three outlets. There is uh, where we connect the matrix. So the outlet of the matrix can go in there. And then we have the, as it says, inlet 0, inlet 1, and inlet 2. And here are our outlets. Outlet 0, outlet 1, and outlet 2. Okay, so let's get just a quick time movie to play through this thing. Uh, first we'll make a new object with the jit.qt.movie. Uh, there's one of those. And a message, so M for message. Let's read. Uh, our old favorite dozer.mov uh, and that message can be connected to the Coutinho movie. We need a metro of course to play back uh, well to, yes to read through the frames of the QuickTime movie and we need a toggle which is T on your keyboard brings up a toggle and that's the little combo for playing back our QuickTime movie and there's into the first inlet or the zero inlet if you like um, and just to test out the QuickTime movie playback let's get a just a, one of these P windows which is the third down in the third row the second from the left and we'll hook that up to our outlet so it's kinda like this the same as it was with our matrix tilde so assuming t that everything works here we should be able to read this movie in start it playing and then if we take this, which is our z our first inlet here, and stick it to our third outlet right there, we should be seeing that video, and yes we are. Okay, so now we could just put some effects in line here. Uh, let's just stick some in uh, real quick, like, uh, let's make a end new patch. Uh, let's make a sub patcher, so this window is getting a little messy already, and I'll call it um, effect 1, I don't know, F1, sure. And let's put in something here, like uh, make a new object. And just go down the list. Jit dot amoeba. Sure. And just to get well. Let's just use the. the we won't affect any of the, the parameters. We'll take uh, an inlet over here, um, which is what that looks like. You can see those in the in the uh, in the um, in the palette here. An inlet looks like. A, box with an eye in it. We can connect that inlet over there and we're going to send this so a new object send without the tilde obviously because this is video um, will s we'll call it amoeba and we can stick that there we'll copy that send because we're going to put the receive over here in the main patcher and that's where that goes and where that goes and just one more effect um, I'll just copy this sub patcher so I don't have to make the whole thing again uh, I'm going to do uh, let's just see, I'll just do the old classic frame differencing which we do with a new object called jit.op and we put an attribute in there which is the at sign the attribute is op um, which is the name of the operation, I'm going to choose abs diff, which is the absolute difference between um, one matrix and another. We'll need to make another new object here to do the frame differencing. We'll need the current frame, which is this list, the current matrix, to be subtracted from what would be the previous matrix, which would be that. Um, so there's current well, they're both current, but this one's going to be old. A lot of things, including jitter, works with right to left timing. So this is going to be executed first, and then the next time around, this is executed. So that's the way that works. All right. Uh, we're going to stick the inlet through this. Is, this is a trigger object. In this case, TLL means trigger list list. And we're not going to want to use the same send name. We'll use a send called difference. Sure. All right. 
And again, we want to copy that send because we're going to stick it out here on our in the front end of this thing and receive that that we just sent from this object or from this sub patcher. And now we should be able to do something similar, which is um, with our video, we can play it back like we just did through straight through, or we can take that inlet and stick it into the one of the inlets here and we can stick, take that outlet which comes from inlet 2 and take that out through the output there and there's our amoeba effect again if we take this and uh, take the quick time movie inlet and stick it out through there which is our um, second effect even though it's got the same name at the moment and we put that outlet which is their third, uh, the third inlet sorry and take that out through the outlet and we've got our frame differencing um, we probably should put a JIT.change in here to make sure it's using only difference uh, so that the differences in frames are all not the same so the JIT matrices aren't repeating. Uh, yeah, so you get the same kind of deal going on. You can do multiple effects running one thing through another. Uh, the thing you can't do is get feedback, so that's how we did that in the other patches. We did this um, and there we get this message in the uh, saying stack overflow and as it says here choose resume from the edit menu to restart the scheduler so we just proved that you can't do feedback when it means uh, it's just about to crash yes well that's like a good time to end thanks bye